If you've ever found joy in drawing, but sometimes get frustrated with the line work, then this video is for you. Today, we're going to draw some beginner Halloween themed doodles, then take our favorite elements to create a simple drawing in about 10 to 15 minutes. You can get the reference sheets for step-by-step -step directions from the link in the description, or you can follow along with me. I'll be using a pencil and some fine liners today, but grab whatever you draw with and let's get started. So step one is to get warmed up with some doodles and I'm just going to start by drawing this cute little ghost beside a pumpkin. And I'll start this doodle by creating a bean-like shape with an open end. And at that open end I'm going to make some wavy lines. I'm also going to add two very round arms. And for my eyes, I like to create six eyes, I call them. So I draw the number six and the circle I will color in and just kind of round out that top part. And it gives the illusion of a reflection in the eye that way. And now I'm going to move on to create my pumpkin. Now we're going to start our pumpkin by creating an oval shape. And near the top, we're going to create some bumpy, kind of small hill lines. And from this section, we're going to build out our stem. And I really like crooked stems. So mine's going to be quite long and have a curl at the end. So I'm going to make sure I have some jagged edges in there as well to kind of show some texture and make it more interesting. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back to my bumpy hill lines and at the bottom part of the line, I'm going to create a curved line down that will show the shape of the pumpkin. Now I'm going to go back into that bottom line and create some bumps and those are going to correspond with the top bumpy ridges at the top of the pumpkin. Now you can leave your doodle sketch just in pencil, but I prefer to go over mine with a marker or a fine liner. So I'm just going to outline this to make it pop a little bit more. Now, looking at my doodle sketch, I felt like there was just one more piece that needed to be added here, so I decided to draw a little mushroom beside our pumpkin. These are really simple to draw, but how we get started drawing this is drawing a half circle, and then we'll connect those two lines together. Next, I'm going to draw the skirt of the mushroom, and I'm just going to keep this little part very wavy at the bottom. And then I'll draw the two lines that will connect in kind of the middle of that skirt. Once I'm done that, I will draw the bottom stem of the mushroom and kind of round it off at the bottom. 
And for this mushroom, I'm going to have it be one of those red mushrooms with those white dots at the top. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of circles that are not perfect circles. They can be irregular and kind of just brought all around the mushroom. Once I'm happy with everything, I'm going to outline it. Now for this part, I'm going to switch over to a very small nibbed fine liner. I'm just going to add a couple of those gill details and fine lines around the mushroom. Now we're going to be moving on from our singular doodles to bringing them all together to create a drawing. Now I have a sheet of characters and decorations here and in my drawing I've used most of them but of course this is your drawing so use whatever elements here you feel you want in your Halloween drawing. Now I'll be using this cauldron as my main focal point and I'm going to build all the other doodles around it to build it out. And I'm going to start this cauldron by first creating the ring around the top and it's going to curve inwards and around the back. Once I've done that, I'm going to make a very large circle at the bottom and this is going to really ground our whole picture. So don't be afraid to make this part quite large. Now I'm just adding two little feet at the bottom so this cauldron can stand. And next I'm going to create this very swirly smoke that's going to be rising from this potion or a witch's brew. Now you can make this part as simple or as complex as you'd like it, but keeping everything very swirly and loose, kind of creating these S shapes along the way. Next, I'm going to add two handles on either side of the cauldron, and I'm just going to create these by making these kind of very long U shapes. And now that this cauldron is finished, I'm going to add a pumpkin beside it. And of course, you can go back to the doodle we already created with all of those instructions for that. But if you are having a hard time with the line work, you can always download the reference sheets and those will give you step-by-step -step directions on which shapes to put and where. So you can follow those directions or you can actually place the reference sheet underneath your piece of paper and trace each element where you want it on your drawing. So on my actual drawing, I'm going to place my witch's broom right beside the cauldron and I'm going to make this wooden broom part very wobbly. So a nice loose pencil hold is great for this one. Now the next element I'm going to add into this drawing is a black cat. Now the line work can be a little bit tricky on the cat, but try your best or use the guide and I'm sure you can be happy with it. Now, one of the last elements I'm going to add into this drawing are two little ghost friends. So, just like we already did in our doodles, I'm going to create the same shapes here. So, I'll do one up at the top and one on the side, kind of just to balance out the composition of this drawing. Now you can leave your drawing like this 
or you can add in a couple of leaves like I'm doing here. So I'm just going to add three kind of irregular shaped oak leaves just to kind of do a couple last little finishes for this. So once I've worked my pencil sketch through and made a couple of little alterations, I'm going to go in with my fine liners and outline everything. But again, you can go and use a marker, you can use pencil crayons, you can use whatever you like. So I'm going to outline all of the basic shapes I just created and I'm just going to speed it up here a little bit. And once I've done that, I'm going to go in with a smaller nibbed fine liner and I'm going to create a couple of details like the eyes and whiskers and that kind of thing. And for the eyes, you can keep it simple with just doing a basic black oval, but I do like to do my eyes again in these kind of six shapes. So I draw the number six and I fill in the bottom circle and I round out the top. So it kind of gives the illusion of a reflection in the eye. Now I always do my eyes and details in pencil first and then I'll go over them in fine liner when I'm super confident with the shape. Now I am happy with my Halloween doodle drawing and I am just going to add a little bit of color just for fun. So you can sit back and enjoy a couple of seconds of satisfying coloring, but you can also get some of these color ideas and value ideas. And if you happen to have a set of alcohol markers and have a colorless blender, I do recommend grabbing it and going over some of your pencil crayon sketches because it just kind of smooths everything out and all of those little white bits that show through with the colored pencils all kind of blend together really nicely with these colorless blenders. So here we go from blank to color. So there you have it, we've gone to doodle to drawing. Now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you have please make sure to hit that like button, I would really appreciate it, but as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!